Welcome to High Spirit Vlogs. In today's video, we will be showing you around Woolwich Arsenal and giving you guys a little background of the place. If you visit London and are interested in British World War history, Woolwich Arsenal is actually the perfect place to visit in order to get a glimpse of the history of the place. Woolwich Arsenal was known back in the day as Woolwich Warren. It has a history of being the hub for carried out armaments manufacture, ammunition proofing, manufacturing guns and explosives research for the British Armed Forces. It is located on the south bank of the River Thames in South East London. It is actually part of the Royal Borough of Greenwich. Woolwich Arsenal has had a long history of trade and has used the Thames in order to ensure commerce and trade for the location. The ferries have been operating here since the 14th century. As you can see here, this is the Woolwich Ferry. It connects Woolwich to East London. The Woolwich Ferry is actually free to take, it's completely free. You do not need to pay any fees in order to use the, the, the transportation. You can basically jump on and off as you please. The ferry is open to all types of transport. You can drive onto it with your car or your motorbike or your bicycle. You can even walk onto it. Whichever mode of transport that suits you, you're free to use. As you can see, the Woolwich Ferry is a very popular service especially if you want to avoid going through the Blackwall Tunnel, which always has traffic, especially in the morning during rush hour. The Woolwich Ferry is extremely efficient, especially if you want to get to East London very quickly and efficiently. According to the TfL, the ferry gets over 2 million passengers using the service every year. On weekdays, the ferry operates from 6.10 a.m. until 8 p.m. with a two-boat service. On Saturdays, the ferry is open from 6.10 a.m. to 8 p.m. with a one-boat service. And on Sundays, it's open from 11.30 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. So if you're interest, interested, those are the timetables for getting the Woolwich Ferry. The Woolwich Ferry isn't the only service that gets you to the other side of London. There is also another service called the Woolwich Arsenal Pier, as you can see here uh, right now. Um, this service is actually paid. Um, but they work on very specific times. So if you're considering taking this route um, to cross the river, uh, remember to check on the TFL website before you go, because I know that even though it's paid, the services aren't as regular and they work on the times are really specific. So if you miss it, you miss it. So to avoid any long waited times, definitely check before taking this service. If you decide to come and visit Woolwich Arsenal, make time to check out the public art. One of the most famous pieces of public art from the area are the still statues that you can currently see here. When you walk into Royal Arsenal and walk further down past the new apartments, you will see the cluster of still men all frozen in time. The art piece is actually called Assembly by the sculptor Peter Burke and it is meant to be a representation of unity and people coming together. It's actually pretty cool to see if you desire to visit. You can see sculptures up close and you can also see cannonballs and different sort of sculptures of army artillery. Um, that pretty much just reminds you of this area's war history. Um, a lot of the stuff that you will see here will come with descriptions um, just to give you a brief history of the area 
and what these things represent and how important they meant in ter- and, and how, how much they contributed to the development of the area. So it's definitely worth checking out. Woolwich Arsenal is constantly developing. Currently, they are building the Crossrail project, which will have the new Elizabeth line, which will run directly into central London. This will further open up this part of London, making it even more accessible to people, to tourists, and even to people living in other parts of London. In addition, it is said that the Crossrail project will build another 3,750 new homes and there will be more commercial and leisure quarters to satisfy the influx of passengers that will be using the service. From a basic point of view, the Crossrail project is essentially a regeneration project to attract more investment and opportunities to the area. According to Crossrail, they project that the Elizabeth Line will have over 56,000 passengers every day. It is said that the project will be completed by summer 2021. I think once the project is completed, Woolwich will pretty much become another major hub in London. As we are in June, it is Pride Month. The month of June was chosen by the LGBTQ community to commemorate the Stonewall riots, which occurred at the end of June. Due to this, many Pride events are held during this month of June to recognise the impact the LGBTQ community and their positive impact on the world. As a way to show respect to the LGBTQ community, parts of the roles have been turned into rainbow colours that are actually the same colours as the LGBTQ flag, which represent the diversity in the community. Also at the centre of Woolwich Arsenal, there is a Black Lives Matter mural on the pavements. It has been painted in yellow paint. And as you can see from, from further away, it's pretty huge. And it further adds more to the character of Woolwich Arsenal. As most of you have heard, there have been many protests happening across the world, standing up against racism in all its forms and and also standing up against police brutality. The protest has caused major shifts in the culture, in law and even the way companies run. The protests have definitely made a positive mark in history. It's actually amazing to see people from all over the world uniting and supporting Black Lives Matter and standing up against racism and police brutality. I hope this mural stays here for a while um, as it's a great reminder that if we unite and stand against injustice, we can definitely make the world a better place for everybody. I hope you enjoyed our tour of showing you around Woolwich Arsenal and I hope that if you guys are intending on visiting London, you'll take the time to visit this place as it has a lot to offer. As usual, we'll be coming out with a lot more content Um, I'm trying really hard to be as consistent as possible, um, but please bear with me. But if you enjoy this content and got a lot of value out of it, please subscribe to this channel and also please like the video as that really helps us a lot. So guys, I will see you soon. Take care.